So if if I escalate the war and my opponent escalates the war, we're going to label this dual escalation with P. Right? We're going to label it P. And we know, looking on our sheet, that P stands for punishment. Okay? So just put that in the back of your mind. If I choose to escalate the, the, the war, but my opponent chooses to de-escalate the war, so I'm intensifying the violence, my opponent is not intensifying the violence, is attempting to, um, to, to de-escalate the conflict, we're going to label this as team, giving in to temptation, right? So I, for example, I might know preemptively that I'm a stronger opponent, and my opponent might know that I'm a stronger opponent than they are. And thus, they, they, they back off, and, they, and they, they show signs that they're going to withdraw the conflict because I've flexed my, my muscles, right? I've... I've threatened um, to attack, and that threat is severe enough to get them to, to sort of de-escalate the, the conflict. Despite the fact that they de-escalated the conflict, BAM! I hit them. So it's like, a, just imagine a street fight between kids. Kid says, hey, I'm gonna punch you. Oh, please don't punch me, please don't punch me, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you say, okay, man, you look like you're sorry enough, and you put your guard down, whack! Right, you're giving in to temptation, right? So, um, if I choose to escalate, and they de-escalate, then we classify this outcome, this terminal node, as temptation. Next, if I choose to de-escalate the conflict, I say, okay, no more fighting, and my opponent then attacks. So, sort of, my opponent sees the weakness in me. I say, hey, I don't want to fight anymore. Please stop fighting. And my opponent looks at me like, oh, this dude's weak. And whack hits me, then we are labeled as a sucker. Which makes sense, right? This is, that makes sense. So, if... If I say, I don't, I want, let's de-escalate, let's, let's find peace, let's stop this violence, let's back off. And my opponent looks at me like, this dude's weak. And because they, they interpret my actions as a sign of weakness, whack, they, they escalate the conflict, I'm a sucker. Right, because I should have had my guard up. Okay, so you get it. And the last option is if I choose to de-escalate the war, the conflict, and my opponent also chooses to de-escalate the war. So I say, hey, you know what, I don't really feel like fighting, you know, it was ridiculous what we were about to do. And my opponent says, you know what, you're actually right, I, I agree. What we were about to do is stupid, you know, somebody was about to get punched in the mouth. <laughs> for just, for ghetto's purposes, right? Uh, we say, let's not fight. And we both don't fight, well, then that's labeled R. And that's a reward. So we have punishment, temptation, sucker, reward. Punishment is when we both choose to escalate. Temptation is when I choose to escalate, but they don't. I've given into temptation. I've given. Think about the the temptation of being a bully, right? Um, when I choose to de-escalate, but they escalate, well, I'm a sucker. I should have had my guard up. If we both choose to de-escalate, de then we're rewarded because we've obviously foregone um, a state of increased hostility, right? So again, this um, particular tree is. A combination of many different aspects of game theoretics. It, a little bit of the prisoner's dilemma, a little bit of um, escalation and conflict resolution, war theory, a little bit of um, a little bit of game tree construction. It's a lot of things that went into the, the, the structure of this, but hopefully it makes sense. Two parties. Each party has decisions to make. I make decisions. My opponent makes decisions, and we use this structure to assess outcomes, right? Um, obviously, this is a very easy war to fight. Well, even this, I, I take that back, I take that back. This is actually not an easy war to fight, but this is the easiest type of war to fight. Real wars are way more complicated than that because it's, you know, my move now becomes a counter move which undoes blah, 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 blah. It gets far more complicated. I might add another layer to this just to show you how you can um, amend this a little bit, but you get the idea of how the, um, the game tree is constructed. Okay, so that's the hypothetical uh, game tree uh, for conflict escalation. Now, let's do an analysis of this non-cooperative conflict escalation war game, right? Again, the the war game is itself non-cooperative. Um, I don't know what my, remember, I don't know what the opponent is going to do. The other participant in the game is going to do. Um, and I act as if they are going to try to maximize their own interests, right? So let's look at um, assessing these outcomes, right? Okay, and we'll go down the line and we'll look at all of the, the outcomes. The first outcome, P, punishment. Let's look at 
P again. I decide to go to war and escalate the conflict. They decide to go to war and escalate the conflict in a very general sense, right? In a very general sense, theoretical sense. This punishment, and we know that P stands for punishment. We're not saying always, but theoretically. Theoretically, both parties escalating the conflict. I'm going to try and drop as many bombs as you. You're going to try and drop as many bombs on me. Sort of running the game, this version of the game, is going to lead to um, maximum casualties for both sides, right? So we're going to have maximum, maximum, I'll just put deaths, and I should put possible. Maximum possible, doesn't have to be actual, that's just IB, maximum, maximum possible death for both sides, right? So in my, in my um, game design, and in my game strategy, when I, I'll get to that in a little bit, I recognize that if we both choose to escalate the war, then what ends up happening is that this, punish, this P is going <clears> to <throat> represent the maximum number of deaths for both sides, because we're both escalating, right? Okay. Number two, T. Um, temptation, right? Um, maximum enemy casualties, right? If I choose to escalate and my opponent chooses to de-escalate, well, it's going to theoretically be the maximum number of casualties for my enemy. Because now I'm attacking and they're really not attacking back. Think about it. I, I'm escalating the conflict. The person is de-escalating the conflict. I, I lunge, I hit the person. The person wasn't engaged in, in conflict with me. The person's de-escalating and I'm attacking. Right? He gets hit, I don't get hit. Right? You feel pain, I don't feel pain. Your people get pill, killed, my people don't get killed because you're not being offensive. Right? Both people being offensive here. One person being offensive, me. The other person not being offensive, being defensive. Well, that's going to lead to the maximum number of, this, this temptation is going to lead to the maximum number of enemy casualties, right? So, maximum possible deaths, casualties for enemy, right? This one is us, two is them. We attack, they don't. That results in maximum number of casualties for them. This is different from this because this is the maximum number of casualties for both groups. Okay. Three. Um, S is being a sucker. Right? And being a sucker, I go defensive. I don't want to attack. They do want to attack. I don't want to attack. They attack. I'm a sucker. What ends up happening is that this is the maximum allied casualties, right? It's the maximum number of casualties for us, right? Max deaths possible, right? It's the maximum number of allied casualties, right? Because we're in a um, sort of a defensive posturing. We've postured for de-escalation of conflict. If we're posturing for de-escalation of conflict, obviously that assumes that there were signals sent to us prior to this game, actually, that our posturing was, was well was justified, right? We were justified in our in our um, de-escalation, our defensive posturing. Insofar as we postured defensively, if that then is taken as a sign of weakness, whack, we get hit, we're a sucker, maximum number of casualties for us because we were defensive, we didn't expect to be hit. Okay, so um, maximum number of casualties for us is uh, being a sucker, right? And then number four, um, reward, R is reward. R E W A R D is reward, um, and that's when we both go defensive. We should de-escalate the conflict. Yeah, I agree. We should. We were arguing over foolishness. Guess what? We get rewarded because there's a state of peace, right? And I would define this state of peace actually as not like some kumbaya theoretical. There's no violence at all because I don't believe that that's possible. I would say that the the um, minimal number of, right, the smallest amount, right, the smallest possible number of deaths for international conflict, international war, you know, and I, I'm not here to quantify that or say what that is, this is all theory, um, that would be, you know, synonymous with 
a state of peace, right? It would be the best possible option. Or if there was actually a case where there was no bloodshed. 